This is part 10 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement bidirectional sort in Angular. This is continuation to part 9, so please watch part 9 before proceeding. So here is what we want to do. When I click on a column header for the first time, then we want to sort the table data by that column in ascending order. If I click on the same column name again, then we want to sort the data in descending order. Let's see how to achieve this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. This is the same example that we worked with in the previous video session. At the moment, we have to select the name of the column from this drop-down list by which we want to sort this table data. Now we want to make these column headers clickable so clicking on a column name will sort the data by that column. So let's look at the changes required. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So the first change that I'm going to do is for the controller function that we have in script.js file. At the moment to the scope object we have attached this employees array and we have also attached a property called sort column and we have initialized that to the name property of the employee object. So in addition to the sort column property, I'm also going to attach another property and I'm going to call it reverse sort. That's a, going to be a Boolean property and I'm going to initialize that to false. And to the scope object, I'm going to attach another variable. I'm going to call this sort data. This is going to be a function which is going to provide the sort capability. So to this function, I'm going to pass the column name by which we want to sort the data. And then here I'm going to change the reverse sort property value that we have attached to the scope object depending on the following condition. So I'm going to use a conditional operator here. If dollar scope dot sort column is equal to column. If that condition is true then you know I'm going to store the opposite of what we already have in reverse sort. So I'm going to apply the not operator here. So if it has false in it, it's going to change it to true. If it has true in it, then it's going to change it to false. Okay. Else I'm going to set that to false. In a bit you'll understand the use of this reverse sort property. And then dollar scope dot sort column equals whatever column we are passing into this function. And I'm going to attach another property and I'm going to call this get sort class. Again, this is going to be a function. Even to this function, I'm going to pass the column name by which we want to sort the data. And here, I'm going to check if dollar sort I mean dollar scope dot sort column is equal to column if that condition is true I'm going to check return dollar scope dot reverse sort okay if the value within that reverse sort property if we have true in that then we want to sort the data in descending order so in that case I'm going to return a CSS class and the name of that CSS class is going to be this arrow dash down so what is the purpose of this arrow down class? Now when we apply this class to a div element, this is going to display a down arrow. Similarly, when we apply this arrow up class to a div element, this is going to display an upwards arrow indicating the direction of sort. Look at this next to the date of birth column. We have this downward pointing arrow indicating that this data is sorted by date of birth column in descending order. So we get that icon there using this arrow down um, CSS class. To get the up arrow we use arrow up CSS class. So here you know if the value that we have in reverse sort is true that means we want to sort the data in descending order so at that point this is the name of the class that we want to return arrow down so let's copy that and specify it right here else we want to return the other one arrow up without um, you know dot in front of it. So we want to return that class name. Let's remove the dot from here. Okay. So 
if sort column you know if dollar scope dot sort column equals column you know we pass the column name by which we want to sort the data if that is the same as what is already present in the scope object sort column property then we are checking the reverse sort property of the scope object if that has a true value return arrow down class else return arrow up now if the column that we are passing to this function is not equal to dollar scope dot sort column then we are going to return an empty string that way what's going to happen is you know when I click on this column name you know I want to sort the data by this column but we have the other columns for all those other columns in this table you know if it already has that class applied you know that class will be removed with the help of this empty string okay that way this icon will ever be present only on one column you know the column by which we are sorting the data either in ascending or descending order okay so that's what the sort class function going to do and sort data all this is going to do is set the relevant properties on the scope object so it's going to set reverse sort depending on the value of the column by which we want to sort the data so we are checking if dollar scope dot sort column you know if that is equal to the column by which we want to sort the data then we want to change the value that is already there in reverse sort property to the opposite value and that's the reason why we are applying this not operator here if this condition is not true then it indicates that we are sorting by that column for the first time okay so at that point we want to sort the data in the table in the ascending order hence we are setting reverse sort to false and then sort column will be the column by which we want to sort the data that we are passing to this function so pretty straightforward functions there you know we have only two lines of code within each function now let's see how we are going to make use of these functions so let's go to our HTML page 1.html which is our view the first thing that I'm going to do here is remove this sort by drop down list from there so let's go ahead and delete all that HTML we have there and at this point when we reload the data you know this is how the data is present now we want to make these column headers clickable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach ng-click attribute to the th element and when we click you know on the table header element we want to call this sort data function so that it is going to set reverse sort and sort column properties of the scope object and then we are going to use those two properties to sort this data that we have in the table okay so let's go ahead and call that function the name of the function is sort data and to that function we need to pass the name of the column so the name of the column in this case is name and then next to this name element we want to display if we sort the data by that column we want to display you know upwards or downwards arrow depending on the direction of sort to get that arrow I'm going to use the div element and on this div element I'm going to set ng class directive and we are going to call the get sort class function so let's call this get sort class function and again to this function we have to pass the name of the column and the name of the column in this case is name okay let's do the same thing for the other three th elements that we already have in the interest of time I've already typed that code now the change is going to be pretty much similar to what we have done to the first th column so I'm going to copy these lines of code that we have in the notepad and paste them right there okay so for date of birth you know we're calling sort data and we're passing date of birth as the column name again for get sort class date of birth same is the case for gender and salary okay and then right here at the moment we are only using the sort column from the model we also want to use that reverse sort property which is basically going to control whether we want to sort the data in ascending or descending order so I'm going to specify that second parameter right here what is that property that is reverse sort so if we have true 
in that the data will be sorted by this sort column in ascending uh, in descending order if we have false in reverse sort then the data will be sorted by sort column in ascending order so those are the changes that we need to do as far as the view and uh, you know the controller functions are concerned let's save all these changes and look at this when we reload the first thing to notice is look at that you know we can click on the table header and look at that when I click on the name column you know the data is sorted now in ascending order when I click on that again the data is sorted in descending order we have the icon but that is not displayed properly that's one of the problems that we have we want that icon to be displayed next to the name column and the other property and other problem is we want the um, pointer to turn to a hand symbol indicating that you know we can click on this table header we can control those two things using CSS properties so let's go to the styles.css first of all we want to adjust um, you know the alignment so that the image comes next to the uh, column name column header to do that I'm going to set the display property and I'm going to change that to inline block and I'm going to apply it to both the classes arrow up and arrow down so let's save those changes and I'm going to reload this page look at that now you know it's displayed next to the column header alright the other thing that we want is we want to turn the mouse cursor to pointer for that I'm going to set cursor property on the th element to pointer so when we move the cursor over that th element it's going to turn to a hand symbol okay look at that now it turns to a hand symbol so date of birth now in descending order gender in ascending gender in descending so all the columns are now sortable in both the directions so here we have the controller code here we have the view code and here the styles that we have applied thank you for listening and have a great day